If you recall in early lectures in this course, we made it clear that RS-485 was not a protocol, but rather a serial communication standard. In this section, we will run through all of the details of RS-485 communication and see exactly what it takes to interconnect devices using this standard. On any device that supports RS-485, there must be a physical RS-485 communications port. Though this port may be housed in various type of connectors, more often than not you will see it as two screw terminals. One of the screw terminals will be marked positive and one will be marked negative. RS-485 uses only these two lines for connection. Now note that connecting RS-485 devices together does not mean necessarily that they will communicate via the Modbus protocol. Connection via RS-485 means that the devices are now on a network with the potential to communicate. RS-485 merely presents the physical medium over which the communication can take place. But any protocol for that matter can be used over RS-485 or most any. It is simply the physical medium. Now devices connected into an RS-485 network are always connected in what is referred to as a multi-drop arrangement. Let's look at what this is using an example. This diagram shows four devices that each have an RS-485 port, device 1, 2, 3, and 4. Each port consists of two screw terminals. Now what I'm going to show you now is a multi-drop connection. All you need is a pair of wires and here's how it goes. First I interconnect all of the positive screw terminals and I'll notice what I'm doing. It's almost one continuous wire that jumps from one device to the other device to the other device so it drops multiple times so that's why it calls, it's called multiple multi-drop then I have to do the same with the negative side of the RS-485 port on every device. So it's essentially a pair of wires that drops to the multiple devices and that forms this multi-drop connection which creates the network. This sort of network you'll hear referred to as a field bus. So this pair of wires forms a field bus but note that it's multi-drop connection RS-485 sometimes called a field bus.